Shout out what is happening out there in YouTube land. Yours truly, Rockin' Dave, the real deal. North Fort Myers, Southwest Florida. And um, I often get asked how I'm able to play so fast and clean on an acoustic guitar with control. And there is a number of exercises I do. One of them is a picking exercise um, to keep up with my, my wrist. Because as a lot of you know, I also play classical and flamenco style guitar, so I also finger pick. So my hand is not just dedicated to one specific way of playing. So it will change shapes. So, uh, but another reason that helps me to be able to play so fast and clean. Well, first of all, let me make this very clear. When I pick, I do not turn my pick sideways or anything like that. It, I literally do play with the tip. Maybe you can't see that, but but that's how I'm able to get the notes so precise and clean. But another exercise I do is I'll work with my scales nice and slow with a very um, uh, amount of discipline and each note I try to uh, play with the exact same force or the exact same sound quality value. Um, and one of the exercises I've been fooling around with is taking uh, part of a uh, G major slash E minor scale where it is involving an F sharp. And what I'll do here is I'll play it like this. I'll play it on my my D string, starting with A. And what happens, I split it up so I have to shift my pinky to be the lead finger after as I do that shift. So the first is A, B, C, D, then back to C, B, A. Then my pinky jumps to the G string to pick up D, C, B, a, G, F sharp, and then I walk up F sharp, G, A, G, A, B, A, B, C, and I do that again. What I do is, and what's known as playing in a circular motion, so really, when I come up here, I don't hit that note twice. So here, this is exactly what I'm doing. It's a good exercise to train your hand to do jumps. And I'm jumping and I'm landing with my pinky, and that note I'm playing with the pinky, I'm also playing with an upstroke. So it's real good for both left and right hand synchronization. It's good to do this on the middle strings because you have strings in between each other, right next to each other. See, you could do this also on the uh, B and high E string. You won't have nothing next to it though, but I mean, you could still do that. See, that's kind of sloppy, right? So what I do is I'll do it for a long duration of time to get it to where I really want it to be, where I, where I want my notes to sound. And I'll take the metronome, and in this instance, I'm playing at 80 beats per minute. You can see that. That's 80 beats per minute. And let me go back to the D and G string. And I'll start with A, and I'll play it like this. to the B in high E string.
Now then I'll take the metronome and I'll speed it up by five uh, by five beats per minute, you know, increments and fives or sometimes tens. And what I'll do, meaning I'll speed it up to like 85 beats per minute and then 90 beats per minute. And I f if I feel that that's too slow for me, then I'll do by from 80 beats per minute to 90 beats per minute and then 100 beats per minute. But you have to take it where it's comfortable for you. But if you notice, when I was doing this, every note is getting the same value. It's not Nothing's more weaker than the other. And I guarantee you do something like this for a certain duration of time. Don't speed it up. You're going to gain control of your instrument. See, the cons, the, uh, are the, um, the idea of to play fast is to start by playing fast only works for getting used to the control of the tremolo picking. That's up and down. But if you do not start to work things where you're really at, so you could um, get to get used to the pattern and get control of it, then what's going to happen? Everything you could do is going to be slop, you know, because just because you get picked on one string fast doesn't mean you can cross the strings. It's when you have to cross the strings that there's always the problem. So really, they do they do kind of work together. But if you really want to learn how to nail any type of a pattern or whatever it is you're working on, work with it slowly and accurately. And it might take a little bit long, but trust me, if you don't do it like that, what's going to happen? It's always going to be sloppy. And then that takes longer to you know, fix a sloppy technique than it does you know, taking it nice and slow where you're really at and building it up solidly. And trust me, as you grow, that will grow with you. And then you, it'll be locked in your memory bank. And you'll be able to do stuff like this. Alright, my friends. So, give that a try. See if that helps you out in your playing uh, techniques and in your growth and everything. So, let me know in the comments what you think. Until next video, you stay safe, you stay true, rock on, and God bless you. And remember, support our music teachers. If you find a teacher in your area that you connect with, go ahead, take lessons, and support our teachers. Again, thank you for watching and all your support. Rock on, and God bless.